this lesson, we're going to have a look at a topic called index notation. Now, as it says in the definition, it's a short way of writing repeated products of numbers. Now, what does a repeated product look like? Well, here's an example of one down here. Here's a number, and notice that it's multiplied together a number of times. In fact, it's multiplied together five times. So we call that repeated products. So when I write this in index notation, you can see that the six is this part of the number right there, and five is just an indicator of how many times the number 6 is multiplied together. We call this number here the index. We call this number here the base. Here's an example of how this works. In part A, we've got the number 7 repeatedly multiplied together. So if we wrote this in index form, 7 would be the number that is multiplied together. And if we count the number of times that it's multiplied together, in this case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 9 is our index number. We can write this answer in words. So if I was to say to you, what is this here? How would you say it? You would say to me, well, that is 7 to the power of 9. And then finally, if we take the number here, 7 to the 9, then we can write down our base. which is 7, and our index, which is equal to 9. Now there's an additional note that I want to make here. When we write this number out, as I said before, this is always called the base. That's the base number, that's the number that's multiplied together by itself, as you can see here. This number up here can have three names. We know it as the index. From here, letter B, we also know it as the power. So the power of 9, 7 to the power of 9. And the third name that you should learn is the name exponent. It's not as common as index and power, but it's in, used in words such as exponential, which you may come across later. Here's another example. For each of the following numbers, we're going to write down the base. So this is number one, we'll write down the base. Number two, we'll write down the index. And then number three, we're going to write it in expanded form. So you can go ahead and do this yourself if you like. Just pause the video and when you're ready, run it again. So the base here, this number here, multiplied by itself, is 5. The number of times that it's multiplied by itself is 4 times. And so in expanded form, here's our base, and we should see the base number occur 4 times. In this case here, the base number is 2. The index number is 7. And so in expanded form, the number 2 is going to be multiplied together by itself 7 times. Double check that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 2 to the 7. And so you can see why 2 to the 7 is a much easier, quicker, shortcut type of way to write out this number here. Finally, we're going to use our calculator to work out this particular number. Now I'm going to refer to the calculator, the FX82AU, put out by Casio. And on the screen, you're going to find a button 
that looks like this. That's going to be our index or power button. So to work this out, we could do this. We could go 5 times 5. Now we'd have to do that 6 times according to the index. And we'd come out with our answer. Or we can simply put it in the calculator. So we can go 5, then we press this button, then we put in our index and we press equals. Now you go ahead and do this and check your answer out. I checked it earlier and the answer comes out to be 15,625 for both answers. And you could enter this in your calculator just like this to get the answer as you've probably already done but clearly this is a shortcut way. So the whole idea of the index is to give us a shortcut way of working with very, very big numbers and as you'll find later, also working with very, very small numbers.